Welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 930 in Duke 3 and we're going to solve the third problem that is removal of uninterrupted pairs. So we have our friend Vlad here and he has a string S consisting of lowercase Latin letters. The size of the string is N. So our goal is we have to make the string as small as possible. So in order to achieve it, we uh, are given some rules. So let's see what are those rules. So to do this, he can remove any pair of adjacent characters from S. Any pair of adjacent characters he can remove, but both of the characters should be different. For example, they gave this character, they gave this string as raccoon. So you can obtain the string like coon. How did he get coon? He removed RA. You can obtain rune. How did he get rune? He removed AC. Ravon, he removed CO, similar to that. But he cannot obtain Rakan because OO both are same, right? So he cannot remove OO and or rcon because the removed letters are not adjacent so rcon a and c a and o they removed that is also not possible so we can perform this operation maximum number of times until we can't do and report the shortest possible string that is there so in this case if you see a a b c how can we remove we can remove a b and then from a uh, a c remains so then it will be zero right so if it is a a b c i am removing a b a and c remains then again i am removing so the string is empty now let's see a b a c a a b gets removed a c gets removed then only one character remains so no way we can remove that so it is one similar to that you can check for others now let's see whether uh, can we connect any dots we can just say that okay we'll just keep uh, consecutively removing all the characters then we can just remove it maybe i don't know so let's see this is one of the example here so d a c f uh, c c is one example here so what do i do i am telling that uh, let's remove c and f okay let's remove a and c okay now let's remove d c so the answer we got is zero now let's see is there any other way we can remove it d a c f c c let's say i uh, want to remove this cf this ac and this dc again zero so like whatever order i follow in this case i am getting zero only so let's say i want to consecutively remove it da is unique i can remove cf i can remove but the problem here is cc remain so there are two characters that are remaining so the answer is not short right answer we got is zero so consecutively it is not working it is going quite randomly so we might need to figure out some pattern so what is happening here is uh, whatever be the character is there we have to assume that if you go through some examples we are sure that there is always one pair that exists so what i mean to say is suppose if we have a large set of characters and let's assume that these are all the same characters okay a a a a and some small b b comes c c d d s f something comes here uh, i can have a match to every other character right b can have a match to a this b can have a this c can have a because if we remove this this gets joined so similarly everything will get joined so the position does not matter here that's what i'm trying to say so in this case what happens is we know that the size of the frequency of the maximum uh, the frequency of the maximum uh, alphabet is a more than n by 2 so suppose if this is n means the size of the string is n means the frequency of a is greater than n by 2 okay if this is half means it is greater than n by 2 so we can definitely say that this character this string will definitely have a match with the right side of the string right will definitely have a match so if this is the case if they definitely have a match what do we say total number minus out of this you subtract these numbers what is this number n minus frequency of a that is n minus maximum count so maximum count or the maximum frequency so out of this i subtracted this now only this box remains what does this box n uh, n minus n minus maximum frequency means 
this box into two times i can have a pair for it so b b c c d d f can have pair a a a a a a like that so this multiplied by two this gets removed as one part and uh, its pair also removed gets one part so what is something that remains n minus n minus max frequency into two so this is what it remains so that will be the answer so this happens when frequency of a frequency of some character is more than n by two now if the frequency of some character is less than n by two or equal to n by two what happens so you have a again a many characters here a a a a uh, let's say a is exactly like n by two or something then b c d e f f something in this case what do you do every character since n is less than n by two every character will have a match right so if every character is having a match then i can definitely say that i just have to do n mod 2 why are we keeping it as we saw here if it's an odd number we will not have a match so suppose e also have or something happens and suppose it may happen that there is one character that will not have a match so that's why we are just putting n mod 2 so if it's odd number it will be one again what did we do here so we understood that the position does not matter here because anyway by erasing it there will be at, if there is there is one distinct number it will anyway erase a repeated number somewhere so we realized that if a character is coming more than n by two times definitely the other part will have a pair on the maximum frequency element this square box will have a pair on the this frequency element so how do we get this box this box is n minus n minus max frequency we get the size of this size of this into 2 gives the total things that are getting cancelled so n minus this we always get uh, uh, this value that is this one and similarly if the uh, highest frequency character is less than n by 2 means i can just say that every character will have a match with the other one so we just have to put n mod 2 because uh, if it's odd number one character will remain so this is the code initially i took a map we can take a map then take the frequency of each element you note the maximum frequency if the maximum frequency is greater than n by 2 you just say that n minus n minus uh, max frequency to get the remaining elements into 2 and then you give the answer or else it's n mod 2 so this is the submission link if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments so that's it guys see you in the next video thanks